Hello, everyone. As Father said, my name is Michelle Krieger, and I'm here uh, in anticipation of next week's uh, request uh, with regard to our Sunday offering. So let me tell you my story of participation here at Jesu Parish. I was born and raised a Catholic in uh, a small town in Iowa, and I've been a member at Jesu Parish for more than 35 years. My husband, Rick, and I joined Jesu when we bought our house in University Heights. We were new to the Cleveland area, didn't know our way around at all, and I was thrilled to learn that Jesu was a Jesuit parish because both Rick and I graduated from Creighton University, a Jesuit school in Omaha, Nebraska. As I look back over those 30 plus years, I can see that this parish has been a part of every aspect of my adult life. My children were baptized here. One set of godparents are from this parish. Both daughters graduated from Jesu School and received their first communions and their confirmations here. One daughter was married here. A good number of business and lawyer colleagues are members here. And there are years upon years of block parties and pancake breakfasts and soup suppers and service days. And through every stage, Jesu has provided me with numerous opportunities to learn and grow my faith. I've taken part in the spiritual exercises and participated in small faith sharing groups. I've shared with members of this parish my most personal experiences of God, and they have shared theirs with me. I teach in our PSR program. I can tell you if there's a way you want to learn and grow your faith by teaching PSR class. Most recently, I'm serving as parish council president, and through this, I've had a chance to see firsthand and up close the commitment and the generosity and the faith of my fellow parishioners. And in addition, Jesus has given me the blessings of our priests, our deacon, Sister Kathleen, the dedicated lay staff. Whether it's a question regarding my faith or a personal matter, they are here for me and they're here for all of us. But there are two experiences in particular that I want to highlight that show how I've been blessed uh, by Jesu Parish. First, the RCIA program. I've had the honor to serve as a sponsor for three women joining our Catholic faith. In each instance, sharing their journey of faith was a chance to revisit my own questions and renew my own search for answers. It was a special time to rediscover the beauty of the church's traditions and the dramatic liturgy of the Easter Vigil Mass. And this was especially true when my own husband decided to join the church about four years ago. And he participated in the RCIA program here at Jesu. After months of study and discussion and prayer, and with the help of his sponsor and the RCIA team, he was confirmed in the Catholic Church. I felt so blessed and so proud of him. The second experience of lives being changed by the ministries here at Jesu is a bit of an unexpected story. A few years ago, I signed up to bring communion to the homebound. I thought it would be a, a rather quick and easy way, uh, thing to tuck into my schedule on Sunday morning. I was assigned an elderly lady who had recently lost her husband, and then she'd fallen and broken her leg. She was physically frail, but oh, she had a strong personality and a fountain of advice. She had a career as a dancer, an office girl, as she called herself, uh, an event planner, and now she volunteered as a fundraiser for several organizations. And she was a very organized and very persistent fundraiser. Over the course of the two years, as I brought communion every Sunday morning, 
we developed a special friendship. We would share news about our families. Her many grandchildren were her pride and joy. And my girls were in college and just starting their careers. She still grieved the loss of her husband. And so we talked, frankly, about God's presence in our lives and how God is with us, even in the times of suffering and struggle. We continued our weekly visits until she died. Uh, her children, whom I had gotten to know pretty well, asked if I would speak at her funeral. They said I was her closest friend in these last years. It was truly an honor to reflect on her life and share with her friends and family at her funeral what a wonderful inspiration she'd been for me. What a blessing for me to have met this lady and to have journeyed with the RCIA candidates. They helped me grow in my faith and each in their own way brought joy and meaning to my life. Now, over the next few weeks, Jesu is asking you and your family to reflect on what this parish has meant to you. I hope you've benefited from the programs and the ministries and the spiritual guidance as I have. As always, Jesu welcomes your support and involvement in our parish community. Thank you.